Well, this is my uh, second seminar, uh, so I'm really happy to be here, but I've been listening to you for years. And just like many people, recently it's really resonating a lot more than it ever did. It always did, but now I think the, some of the things that you're talking about, in particular, I really like. Well, we just want to say, yeah. the more absurd your life gets, the more sense what we say makes. Yeah. <laughs> I knew you would know that. <laughs> and yeah, yeah uh, sometimes those total upheavals are, well, they always are good. There's one thing that you've been talking about that I particularly like, the idea of not going back, trying to clean up where Esther was working on a um, focus wheel, trying to clean up an old vibration. Well, a focus wheel really is getting out ahead of it too. A focus wheel is where first you acknowledge that you're not where you want to be. So that's where you get the clean up part. But then you find something, you find the other end of that, which is where you want it to be. And you put that in the center of your wheel. And then you just focus on all the things in your world that already match that center. So it really is tuning yourself to what is wanted, which automatically tunes you away from what is not wanted. Quite an interesting thing though, really early in Jerry and Esther's experience with us. It was before Esther was flowing like this. She was sort of grunting mostly or typing and they received an impulse to play a game with friends. They were living in Phoenix and they said to their friends, go hide somewhere, go be somewhere and we'll find you. And then they just followed Esther's impulse. Let's go that way. Let's go that way. And when they would come to a place where the decision had to be made, it was sort of hard to tell whether the impulse to go that way was stronger than the impulse not to go that way, because both were true. If the impulses go that way, then your logic tells you that your impulse is to not go that way. But there's a difference between what the impulse is. The impulse was to go that way. And Esther translated into don't go that way in her mind because she was sort of oriented like that watching out for potholes yeah. and things like that. Yeah. So once you get the hang of this and you are looking for the pleasure of it, then you're going in the direction of your pleasure, not away from the direction of your lesson. I like this new idea, this pleasure. Yeah. And, um, but, and, and so in this case, you were for that, for some reason you were struggling that morning with the focus. Well, you said, you know, uh, and the whole idea of dream a new dream came up. I don't, and, and you were like, instead of, instead of trying to fix this, why don't I just create? Yeah. Esther had been focus willing with a friend, wanting to find the other side of that. And the harder they tried to find the other side of it, the more the side they didn't want to be at was looming. So that is what happened. Yeah. I, and I love this. I, it got absurd. I love it. It became absurd. It, yeah. And this whole idea of, wow, it really resonated with me. I almost think it was related to the pile of sticks one too, but this idea of just forget trying to fix this and just dream a new idea. But the thing is that's easier said than done because the done part is impossible for this reason. You can't buck your own current. So when you say, I'm just going to forget about this thing I'm thinking about. No, you're not. You're not going to forget about it. You're not going to forget about it. You got to think about something else. And if you try to think about the exact opposite of the thing that you're trying to forget about, you still don't forget about it. You still think about it in the way that it is because every subject is wanted on one end and the absence of it on the other. So where are you going with this? We know, you know, everything we know about this, where are you going with this? Um, I just, I, I like it. I just thought i you know, maybe there would be a new idea come out of it or, or resonation, but it, it really resonates with me. Yeah. Here's an even better idea for a long time. We've been saying when you know what you don't want, you know what you do want. And we've been saying that every subject is like a stick that you pick up. You activate the subject and wanted is on one end of it and the absence of what is wanted on the other end of it. And it's helpful for you to know which end of the stick you're on before you pick it up or before you focus on it. But here's the deal. We've talked about this already here today. Most people pick up the stick because it's a problem stick they want to fix. 
that's the reason that you're on most subjects is because you're trying to improve the subject haven't you noticed well we're trying to help you to get oriented differently we want you to pick up the stick for the pleasure of it but most of you are trying to fix things and so most people activate the subject because they're trying to improve it in some way which kind of works against you so here's a new way of looking at that that will soothe that right away so let's pick up a stick throw out a subject doesn't matter what it is uh, let's money's always a good one so pick up the money stick abundance on one end and lack of abundance on the other and just for clarity of this way of looking at it let's etch into this wooden stick with a wood burning tool plenty of money on this end and not enough money on this end so we've got our stick now that stick came out of a whole pile of sticks so let's put it back in the pile and let's reach into the pound pick it up again we got the same stick because that's what's active within us but this time let's etch into this end of the stick how things have been going for me the manifestation in my life right now which equals the way I usually think about it in other words the physical human approach to the money thing like I want more work and I want more money and I want more money for the work that I'm doing and I want to inherit something in other words it's all about the manifestation parts of it and so let's put get more money let's etch that into that into the stick but on the other end of the stick let's etch something different let's etch freedom and fun and ease and happy and flowers and jumping whales so now approaching the stick differently now you're looking for the feeling of the stick not the practicality of the stick see how it shifts now you've got that stick but you're focused in a non-resistant way because all that money that you want is for freedom and choices and expansion and opportunities and fun and so you're less likely to activate the resistant part of it just by approaching it that way which is the same thing we've talked about in other days yeah. as we've talked about go general it is going more general but it's going more general on a specific subject but it's doing it for a different reason it's going more general on the specific subject because of the pleasure that that end of the stick gives me that the other end of the stick can't give me right now that end of the stick can't give me pleasure I've practiced those specific thoughts in such a way that that end of the stick is just not giving me pleasure right now and it's not because I'm not wise and it's not because I'm bad it's just because I've got momentum and so what we're talking about here this is a concept really worth grasping we're talking about where we started today that you are more than you see there's the practical you human you doing you and there's the non-physical you there's the non-resistant you and there's the sometimes resistant you there's the non-physical non-resistant you who is looking for the essence of life not the material things and then there's the physical you who wants the material things and should who thinks that the material things will bring the spiritual things and there's the non-physical you that knows that the spiritual things don't need the physical things but there's the physical you that wants to need the physical things in order to have the non-physical things and well you should you are on the leading edge you came to hook up to source energy and to turn your thoughts to things to lovely things that thrill you to lovely things that feel better than when they weren't there but if you're so humanly oriented and the absence of those things is so pressing in your experience you just can't get there from there you can't get there from there but you can get there from freedom and ease and joy and self-love yeah that's funny you said that because that's what my company's full is about bridging that human side and I got that spiritual side that you don't need all that and then I got the other side that says well I really like nice car I want an, I want an Audi R8 so I can people are so scrambled about that because they want to call someone who has managed prosperity they often want to call them greedy 
because in their so far not ability to gather the resources then absence of them makes them contemplate the pie and a person that has a bigger piece of the ever growing pie is annoying to someone that hasn't figured out how to get their piece but when you step back and realize that you can't get that money today probably not if you're feeling like this it's a ways down the road but you can feel free and you can see a whale and you can smell a flower and a hummingbird will come and look you right in the eye and say hey in other words there's all kinds of evidence of your alignment and your universal spiritual prosperity that you have instant access to and then when you layer onto that that the reason you want that is for that anyway and you can have that now who the reason you want that the reason you want that manifestation is because you think that manifestation will lead to these good feelings and isn't it a little ironic that you can get those feelings without that but then when you get those feelings all that must come because you put it in the vortex it just can't be your motive you can't say I'm gonna tune in and I'm gonna get all that stuff I've been asking for it slows it way way down but if you say I'm gonna tune in because it feels so good to tune in oh I'm tuned in it feels so good to be tuned in and oh look at that I didn't even remember I wanted that look at that beautiful man and that beautiful relationship she said things came to me that I didn't even know that I wanted right I love that this, yeah. Uh, yeah well I love it and I, I particularly love this um, we're not you know you're not living by human laws so stop that but the other thing that I like that you said there's nothing more spiritual than manifesting physical things <laughs> and that I think is brilliant it is brilliant but we're gonna clarify it if you're under the influence of source there's nothing more spiritual than what you manifest under the influence of source but you manifest a lot of things not under the influence of source and we don't think that's all that spiritual. that's not spirit right, <laughs> right. rather be over here there's a distinction isn't yeah. there that's beautiful yeah thank you for that I needed that clarity. and so how I feel along my journey is really evidence of how I'm gonna feel when I get there there's never a happy ending to an unhappy journey never ever 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 but you got to want the journey simply for the joy of the journey because if you stick in the result that you're looking for usually you introduce resistance and you slow it way down we've said that in lots of different ways we think you've heard it do you thanks so much yeah. enough yeah, enough. <laughs>